once again welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to retouch and color grade outdoor picture using photoshop uh this picture was dropped by one of my fellow photogra photographer from tanzania uh his name is seba j brand you can just check him out on instagram uh he has done a hell, a hell of a job there so you can also visit his channel and check out his, uh, his instagram handle so this is the picture i'm going to be making use of uh, is the one that took the picture so the first step is for we to make the basic settings on our camera roll so first thing we need to do is to adjust the basic settings on our picture uh, on our camera roll so we are going to be making use of the basics for now so we'll come back here to color grade the picture later so the first thing that we need to do the exposure is okay my contrast is okay but my highlight is too much so I'll bring down my highlight bring the highlight down zoom out to see what I'm doing very well I bring it down I'll go to my shadow also I'll bring up bring the shadow down soon I'm trying to cool the image the image is looking all bright so if you get the light set up you don't need so much editing on your picture so the next thing i'll do right now i'll increase the texture a little bit also i'll increase the clarity also a little bit then i'm going to open in photoshop so now we're done with the first step the second step now is for we to touch our picture so i'm going to be retouching this picture right now using uh, my ultimate beauty retouch panel to do just that so as you know i don't like working on my background layer so i'm just going to duplicate my layer first clicking on ctrl j to duplicate so that i'll still have my background layer in case i make any mistake i can easily go back and amend that mistake so i'll click on my ultimate beauty retouch panel wait for it to load i want to load my frequency separation panel right now so i want to load my frequency uh, separation layer right now so and this it detects either the uh, 8 bit image or your 16 bit image you are working on so automatically it can de detect that for you and it puts uh, the frequency separation that will be perfect for your picture so i'm going to be clicking on this right now make sure it's on 4.0 4.0 but before we do that we, let's check if we still have some blemishes well, blemishes like this, we can remove them using uh, our clone stamp, our patch tool, and our uh, spotting brush when we're done with the uh, frequency separation. So this is what our frequency separation looks like. This is what it looks like right now. So I'm going to be retouching this picture right now. I will set my retouching brush, which is my mixer brush. This will be on 25. Wait on 25. My load 50%. 50 my mix also 50 percent so i'll leave my flow at 100 percent then i'll start uh retouching my picture there's no much thing i need to do here just a little bit of retouching the picture is already clean so while retouching and using settings i'm using make sure you don't uh over retouch it because it's going to be obvious and also my retouch a picture on a straight line don't drag the dot to the bone don't try to drag the bone to the dot it's going to affect the pictures very well because i'm using a very i'm using the eye setting a very concentrated setting for my retouching right now and also if you make any mistake while retouching you can easily go back by clicking on ctrl z and redo that particular step again so make sure you Keep in on a straight line so that you won't retouch as in you won't over retouch a picture to make your picture look nice so let's keep doing that uh, if you want to get the panel for this ultimate beauty retouch you can just go to other of my videos i drop a video on my channel on how to download and install the ultimate beauty retouch panel which i have 
so you can just get yours there and make and install it on your PC so that you'll be able to make use of it while trying to retouch a picture. So let's check our before and after on the face. Before, after, still be smoother than the than earlier run. So let's just go over it once again, so I can get a nice outcome. As you can see, I'm dragging and dropping uh, one at a time. If you want to learn how I do my retouching, you can just as well go to my other videos, watch them out, and learn a thing or two from there also. So I'm done with the face, let's go to the chest. So just repeat the same step, just gently smudge over it. Just scrub over it gently. Don't stay in a place for too long, if not you are going to destroy the dictators in, dicta in that particular area. So just little by little, little by little. Just trying to create something nice there. Make sure your dodge is on dodge, your bone is on bone. Don't drag from dodge to bone. So we're done with that. Let's go to the arm. As you can see, this is a past retouching right now. It's not something that will take your time. and something that you can do very, very easy. As you can see. So let's keep doing it. So let's check before and after, before and after. So now let's go to the stomach and do same thing there also. see I'm doing it one at a time and you can see I'm simultaneously reducing my brush, brush size depends on any area I want to work on so let's check before and after on our stomach also before and after wow you can see a huge difference there right now so let me still go over there once more so this time around let's go to the leg and do same thing there also Okay, the second leg also. You see, we're done with the basic retouching. Let's check after, before, before and after, before and after. So, let me go to the second arm and do it also. Uh, Why using a setting like this? I'm always doing this rot setting. I don't use, normally use the settings uh, while I'm retouching a studio picture. But since it's an adult picture, that's why I'm using this setting. You have to be very, very careful. If not, you are going to destroy the details and your image. So as you can see right now, we're done with the retouching. Almost done. Let me clean off. Uh, the blemish. Let me clean up the knuckles a little bit. As you can see, you can see the setting is very harsh. Once you just click on it, it's going to uh, affect the area you want it to affect. So you have to be careful while using these settings. So we're done with the first settings with the retouching. Let me merge everything together. Control E. So let's check out our before and our after, before and after, which is perfect now. So now let's do our blemishes remover All right now let's use our spot limb brush to remove blemishes so just click on any area the blemishes is located and to auto fill it with the skin textures for you so once we're done with that we we'll now slide into our color grading aspect so right now we're going to be coloring this picture using camera raw first this is why i'm using camera raw there are so many color separations there for you guys to work on but actually I'm going to be using a preset for you guys to work on right now. Uh, I've already saved the settings so I'm only going to be loading the preset right now for you guys to 
use if you want to buy the complete pack of my presets they are available in my store share the link below so you can get my preset there at any time of your own convenience so let's go to our camera row now filter click on camera row wait for it to load so every settings here works for our picture so the combination of all the settings we do here those are once we save them those are what we call preset so i already have one that i'm making use of so i'm going to go there and click on it i'll click on it right now wow as you can see preset to select now you can go with this and you can decide to choose any preset of your choice there are so many of them if you want to get them the link is in my description you can get them there as you can see as you can see as you can see as you can see so there are a lot of them here you can just actually buy any one you need and start creating wonders with them as you can see right now so i'm going to go with the one i selected right now which is this so once i click on it i'll click on my ok then i'll wait for it to load once it does i want to bring down the uh the picture a little bit i want to darken the image a little bit again so i'm going to go to my cover adjustment layer then i'll look for my black and white wait for it to load then from normal i will change the blend mode to soft light you can see it darkens the picture for us but it's too much so i'll reduce the fill then i'll reduce the opacity also you can see we've color graded the picture these are before and this is our after but we can also spice up our work a little bit by adding our color lookup files to, to it so let me pick a color lookup file to apply on it still go back to my cover adjustment layer again click on color lookup then i'll pick one of my color lookup to harmonize all the colors together then i'll let me go with my natural color as you can see wow wow i have something nice there but you can see the color is too much on our model space so we just have to reduce it you reduce the opacity a little bit so either you reduce the opacity or reduce the fill let's go with the fill first okay reduce the fill now let's reduce the opacity too wow we have something nice here wow this is a nice color so the next thing we need to do now is to clean the eyes as you can see the eyes is not that white so let's just clean that up I uh, will be making use of my action. I have an eye screen action here. Yeah? So clean eye and teeth, click on it, then I will play it right now. What I need to do is just to pick my normal brush, make sure my brush is on white color, 100% opacity. Then I'll increase my brush size. Then I'll select the area I want to white in, as you can see right now. Wow, this is looking good. As you can see. One is those if the if it is too much you can as well reduce the fill or reduce the opacity. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question you can contact me via my WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook and below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also if you're interested in getting my lot pack, preset, overlays and so on. Uh, my store link is in the description below. You can get any of just five day today and keep creating magic. There are so many presets for you guys to make use of. Okay, let me explain what the meaning of pre what preset is for you. Uh, preset has settings on the camera row, which you do, you know, editing many pictures now. You won't have to go over the settings again. So once you just save your preset, you can as well be using one preset for many, uh, many pictures. You just have to apply them on the pictures. It's very, very easy for you to handle.